This is the video lecture on cost allocation. In this lecture, we're going to talk a little bit more about understanding our costs. Because like we said before, the more we understand our costs, the better decisions we can make in the company. Now when we talk about cost allocation, that is a matter of finding not only how much we pay for certain things, but being able to allocate or assign that cost to different parts of the company. Now, in most companies, we're going to have various departments, and these departments could be classified into different categories. The first category would be a service department. This is a department that provides a valuable support service to the company. It doesn't necessarily produce income. In fact, it usually only has a cost associated with it, but the services that they provide are valuable and very important to the company. And service departments could include many things such as janitorial, maintenance, safety, things of this nature. And then we have the operating departments. These are the departments that are actually revenue generating. In other words, these are departments that actually bring money into the business. And these would be things like the sales department, the manufacturing department, the warehouse, things that literally make products and services available so that we can have revenue. Now a cost pool, that is going to be an entire department. All the costs that are associated with that particular department make up a cost pool. And those costs are going to need to be allocated. The way that we will allocate the costs is based upon a cost driver. For every single cost pool, what we have to do is identify the appropriate cost driver. And the cost driver is the one element that causes the cost in that particular department to go up. So first of all, most businesses have a custodial or janitorial department. And this is a service department. This is a cost to the company. And it does not bring any money into the company, but it does provide a very valuable and needed service. Now, how will we allocate the cost of a janitorial department? Well, the cost driver that is usually used is square feet. Think about it. The larger the area, the more time it takes to clean. And the more cleaning products will be used. So the square footage of an area is really the one factor that drives up the cost of janitorial. Most businesses also have a maintenance department. Again, this is a service department. The maintenance department provides valuable needed services, keeping our equipment up to date, keeping our facilities in good working order. Usually the cost driver that is used would be the number of hours. In other words, Certain departments used more of our maintenance crew than other departments. So the departments that required the highest amount of maintenance in terms of hours, those departments would be charged with higher maintenance cost. Then, of course, we have the accounting department. And the accounting department records all the transactions, prepares all the financial statements, communicates all the information, and that is a very valuable service. Usually the cost driver that is used for the accounting department would be the number of transactions. So the number of transactions generated by each department would serve as a good basis for how expensive it is to do the accounting for that department. Then we might have a human resources department. This is the area of the business that hires people, processes their application, sets up job interviews, things of that nature. And typically, the cost driver that would be used would be the number of employees hired or laid off. So in other words, the more people we're bringing in or laying off and processing paperwork, the more we do that, that creates more cost for human resources. Then we have the purchasing department. This is also a valuable service department. Usually the best cost driver for purchasing would be the number of purchase orders. Because remember our voucher system, that's the first step in purchasing. You have to fill out that purchase order to order the product. 
So the more of those that the purchasing department handles, the busier they will be and the more that department will cost us. And then finally we have the allocation. And the way that works is we look at the total cost of each department, we identify the cost driver, and then we divide that cost by the cost driver to get a rate. And then for every department that's in our business, however qu much quantity of units they used, we will charge them with that amount of cost for that cost center.